Welcome back. We're ready to start chapter four, prenatal development and birth. I apologize for the background noise, which is my heater. You're gonna be hearing that for a while until spring comes, unfortunately. So here we go, chapter four. All right, how does life begin? Well, it begins at conception according to our design. So here what we're seeing is an electron microscope image of a sperm penetrating the shell of the egg and once that happens the dna from the sperm will line up with the dna from okay see i told you in my discussion of genes that i oftentimes gloss it's not dna the chromosomes in the sperm will line up with the chromosomes in the egg to form 23 pairs of chromosomes which will then become the dna of the offspring all right so you'll find that there's a video that you probably already watched about this because it was at the beginning of the playlist so i will not i was gonna i'm gonna make a little pun i will not be labor <laughs> conception too much and um, let's move on all right so once the conception has occurred the um, cell starts to duplicate itself. So it goes from one cell to two cells to four cells to eight cells and so on in, you know, duplication like that as it moves its way down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. This period is called the germinal period. It, the, the conception, the conceptus as they call it, has not implanted yet in the uterus and so it's making its way down the fallopian tube dividing and, and replicating as it goes. Implantation is going to be a separate stage of development. It's going to take us out of the germinal period and into the embryonic period once implantation has occurred. So I thought it would be fun for you to watch a little video that illustrates this also because it's fun to watch it rather than hear me describe it. So I will catch you on the other side after watching what happens from weeks one, uh, conception through week nine. All right, see you after that. 